show to go to tonight. Follow me. Okay, great. Does everyone have a card? Yeah. Okay, don't share with your neighbor now. Um, I'm a professional magician, and I do real magic. Your word is house. There's, there's nothing on the card, Jared. There's nothing there. Okay, your card is cat. This is stupid. <laughs> no, no, listen here. There was a mix-up, but some of the cards don't have any words written on them. But... Everyone's time. No, no. Let's see you hover. I'm not wasting anybody's time here. You need to believe in magic for it to, for, or in order for it to really. really... This is really stupid. Make them float. Do something else. Talk to your dog. Or something. Do something else. Be funny. You know what? Too well. I'm falling apart. I'm not gonna last too much longer, Jared. No, hold yourself together. I can't hold oh, myself yeah. together, Jared. Yeah. Just, just, I, just lay me down. Lay me down in that box there. Okay. Oh, don't, man. don't, don't leave me, buddy. Just. It's too much light up here. Just, just put me inside the box. Just, okay. Oh, all right. And, and close the box, Jared. It needs to be dark. I just don't feel too well. Okay. Well, that was some magic ventriloquism for you all. And I, I hope you really enjoyed that. Okay, Jared. Why don't you guess what I'm pretending to be, Jared? <laughs> we'll talk. You, you okay? Don't open the box! Oh, um, uh, you're, uh, you're a cardboard box. Huh. No! Um, maybe, maybe you all can help me pre A unicorn! <laughs> a no. unicorn? No, I'm not a unicorn! Zombie unicorn! Um, you're... A shark! You're an idiot, Jared. Why are you standing there? <laughs> this isn't even real. You didn't even get this far in your act. And they're all staring at you. These kids, they're cynical. They are a tough crowd, these New York folks. You better just go back to Florida. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not in the cardboard box. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm not in the cardboard box. Quit telling me stuff like that, Billy Todd. Cardboard box. No! 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 Get me out of this show! Get me out of this show! Okay, everybody. Oh, 
I know the last match trick didn't work so well, but this next match trick, I'm going to do it. 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 like that idea that this thing which seems so permanent, this plaza, which seems so hard, is actually has a softness and a like a fleshiness to it. You know, give it give it that. It's like it's pressing down on somebody's skin or something. So this is the goal at the end of the rainbow. Well it's at the beginning of the rainbow. Yeah. Or the end, either way. Yeah. It's a beard. You have to sort of get right above it. It's bronze. Wow, it's like a Santa Claus beard. Yeah. You mentioned that's sort of like the beard that your father had? Yeah. Your it's father a, it's had a, a beard? It's a combination of my dad's beard and this uh, sculpture of this beard by uh, of a Moses by Michelangelo, man. Oh, Moses? Yeah. You know that guy. <laughs> I've heard of him. <laughs> he used to hang out over here. Really? I'm not an off person. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. It looks like a waste. If anybody, if anybody, if any city or federal money came to this, somebody should be shot in the head. All right. That's what I think. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Next. Yeah, I gotta make sure this garage sale works out. Oh, really? Let me 
me look at you. Wow. You, you are, you, well, you might got some potential. <laughs> let me see, uh, let me see your portfolio. You got some pictures? Hmm, interesting. Seen it. Done it. Been there. 83. Hmm. Oh, this is interesting. But not. I'm very unimpressed. Well, listen, kid. You might have a shot at things. But well, let me explain a couple things about the art world land world. And the way it's done in the art world. See this piece? This is this is an artist that I started off. Last week, his his piece was auctioned off at Sotheby's. He made nothing from that. He decided to make a new series of paintings, which no one's interested in. His career is over, but his old artwork is still selling for thousands and thousands of more dollars. One flaw I see in you, Poo Poo, is that you you need to understand a couple of things here. Let me show you. You need to fit into an art movement. This is hot right now. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and this is even hotter. You know why? <laughs> you know why? Because there's one thing that you're missing out of the whole ex art experience. Still art that is sold that makes it in this town, that makes it in the art land world, is art that matches the current fashionable furniture in the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Start studying furniture catalogs, especially art furniture. Well, I'm sorry. You need to just go back home. Why? I'll tell you why. Because you're not serious enough. Go home. Go on the internet. Look at the Mary Boone Gallery. And the front page, there's a whole bunch of pictures of the artists in black and white. And what do they have all in common? They're serious. They are people who are afraid to even talk to them. They're so serious. And you? You are a crocheted buddy. How absurd! <laughs> Good luck, kid. You might want to... Hmm, let me see your hands. Dishwashing at a nursing home. <laughs> Perfect. I know I brought you up to New York and so you can meet with that art dealer. Don't worry. That was just a puppet show. The real <laughs> art world doesn't really work that way. Listen, right now we're going to segue to me actually meeting a real art dealer to get my big break. Because you know I'm an artist, right? I paint. And I'm also going to meet a real television producer. Let's see how it goes. We're live here in the, in the, in the center of the art world of New York right in the heart of Chelsea. I'm just gonna go straight into the Mary Boone Gallery. I'm gonna show them my work, and I'm gonna get in. So, wish me luck. Look, these, these are great, just... Uh, just put them down, please. They're not very current, uh, that's why they're I mean, first of all, what we have here is a bunch of dirty, pathetic, unprofessional slides, okay? You ever hear the old expression, form follows function in architecture? Do you know who said that? Do you have any idea who said that? God forbid. What is this sculpture, hand, pathetic, surrealist, mimetic, oh God. That's a, that's about a, uh, a guy in, in a garden hose and they're going at it and, and it's kind of about like where I'm from. Where are you from? Venice, Florida. It's, it's I a, know, but where are you from? I mean, 
I just, I just, you know, I'm a really great artist. What I just is your problem? Get God. your words out, my friend. Say what you gotta say here. I'm expressive. I'm self-expressive. I'm, you know, I'm following all the what an artist is supposed who, to be, who cares right? cares about expression? This is not gonna work or match my customers uptown, their furniture. This is just, it's just, it's a non-starter. What do you mean by that? I mean, this is not acceptable. It won't match my client's furniture on the Upper East Side. I can't even remotely show this. I mean, look at these colors. It is such bad taste. Maybe they don't know that they want it, you know, but, but, but maybe like uh, in the future, the, 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 I don't. I don't care about I'm the future. Ahead of my time. Maybe I I'm, don't really I'm, care I'm about the future. Time. I care about now, and I can't waste my time on bad taste. Well, I'm I'm dressed from the future, like Back to the Future too. No, you're dressed. I mean, what is it? It's not just the art. It's you. I mean, you don't even look like a real artist. You don't look cool. You don't look smart. You don't look savvy, and you don't look serious. Let me show you something. Do you see this? This is one of the best galleries in the world. Do you see what they all have in common, all of those artists? They're all uh, black and white. They are all serious artists. Nobody has some frock, crazy, wacky glasses. Look at how serious they are. What does that hair do with all that fuss? I mean, you're a pathetic clown. Well, I could just go to Kmart and get like black shirt oh yeah that's right i'm gonna convince my clients to buy a um ten thousand dollar painting of yours because you're dressed in kmart that's my idea of branding you didn't even look at the art i did it's not about the art it's about you you're a goofball and i can't do anything with you i don't have time for this anymore i'm really no, this one I'm right sorry. here you can go now no thank no you. just look at just look all you, you gotta can do go. is look thank you look. bye no. nice to see you Believe it. They wouldn't even talk to me. They told me to leave or they're gonna call the security. They're not very artist friendly here. Well, I'll show them. I'll, I'll, I'll go back to Florida. I get to meet a real television producer. Yeah, you, you, uh, you, you produced uh, Knight Rider and and some some of the Conan O'Brien show and and um, so many other things. Um, wow. Um, I, uh, I I um, well, I I well I'm making a TV show for kids and uh, I'm the star of the show. It's called the Jared Whittem Show. Just read it over carefully. It's all in there. You're going to love it. This script is too long. Half of the stuff is misspelled. I'm not even going to read it. Now, what else can you do? Why, well, I am... I, um, that's uh, the only show I've got the pitch... I can, I can do a, a little puppet play. I, I work with puppets. Well, I'm, I'm, um, yeah, Jared Woodham show. Maybe I should read the, the, the show Bible. I don't no, I, I can't help but to notice that that's not a regular puppet. A puppet, you have to stick your hand up into it. These are just dolls. You're going to have to get a normal puppet because the public isn't going to stand for watching a grown man playing with dolls in front of children. One of them is yellow, one of them is blue. How can they be friends? Now, look, 
What I want you to do, since I don't think that you're cut out for show business, is I want you to get on the floor. This is an audition. And I want you to bark like a dog. Roof! Roof! No, no, no. Anybody could do better than that. Woof! Your hind legs and bark. But don't just bark, but really bark. Really bark. Like a dog. Ruff! 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 That's better. That's better. Well, all right. What I need is some... some nude male modeling. Now, it'll just be private here in the house. No one needs to know about it. Strictly confidential. What? What is? I don't. I don't see what male modeling has to do with show business. Well, sure it does. All you got to do is perform without uh, without moving, and uh, except that you you don't have any clothes. <laughs> seen is a bunch of TVs everywhere. I haven't seen one famous person yet and it's crowded. I've never tried this before, so we're just gonna have a little experiment here and uh, see what happens. House! 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 Okay. House! 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 Williamsburg, I'm done with New York City, trying to meet a real art dealer. Just get a flat stop. Next I'm gonna go to Hollywood. Next I'm gonna go. He's going back to Florida? In yeah. that? Lord. Scenes from the next Jared Whittem show. Hi, Jared Whittem here. Um, we finally made it to Miami, Art Basel, and we're having, we're gonna have a real garage sale. Jared, I'll be quite frank with you, the most interesting guy we've met here today. Five bucks, man. Where are you gonna get a cowboy for five bucks? And a cow. So, how am I gonna get the fish to New York? I can create it for you, but I'm going to throw the group. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe everything your friends tell you. Don't yeah. be so naive. Just came when it came out and realized it yeah, was Yeah, it was my mom's house. house. Okay. From what he said, he was slightly irrational at the time. There's more than one. More than one neighbor. I'm already on their way. That is a dollar sign. Yeah, but I see the price tag there. Is that not? Yeah, but this is a performance. Do you have any identification? This is a public parking lot. Yeah, I know. It's it's it was and it was very complicated to, to, to okay. get here. You can hang out with me. Hang out with me. You can make movies. I don't care. I blew it, in New York, just to make these few connections. This is part of the big party. If I die tomorrow, if I knew I was going to die tomorrow, this is probably where I would want to do it because I've been wanting to do it my whole life. <laughs>